Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. You know what sounds good? What's the sound good to? A fish sandwich shootout. Wow. I knew we were going to have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are fast food fish sandwich yeah. shootouts. Uh, we're going to test out Carl's Jr. Mm -hmm. or Hardee's, depending on where you are. Uh -huh. McDonald's and Popeye's. Popeyes, ooh, that's gonna be a good one. And now we fit, I know we, a lot of fast food chains do sell fish sandwiches, mm -hmm. but we wanted to pick fast food chains that are gonna be local just to everybody. Yeah, uh, these are pretty popular. Mm -hmm. Like, I believe Burger King sells some fish sandwich, yeah, um, but maybe not everyone lives uh, near a Burger King. Yeah, or um, Arby's sells yes, fish Arby's sandwich, too. but not everybody is near an Arby's. So we picked out these, huh, babe? Yeah, mm -hmm. from really, uh, I guess, long time favorite, like a filet of fish yeah. at McDonald's, yep. all the way to Popeye's, which is brand new to the fish market, to the is. fish sandwich market. It is. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this one. Okay, so our first stop here is at Carl's Jr. Yep. The first one that we have is the Carl's Jr. fish sandwich. Yes. This is um, beer battered, right baby? Yes, beer battered. Yeah. This one is Alaskan Pollock as well. And we got it by design. So as you can see, this sandwich non sesame bun has a good size of fish in there, has some tartar sauce and lettuce. Here we go. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Again, it has the tartar sauce, the lettuce, and the fish. Oh, it look looks like a good fish in there. Let's try it out. It's a good fish sandwich. It doesn't taste fishy. The breading is not crunchy at all, but it's not mushy either. Perfect amount of tartar sauce, and it has the lettuce. It's a good fish sandwich. Can you tell that it's beer battered? I can't tell it's beer battered. Mm. My turn for this Carl's Jr. beer battered fish. It does stick out of the bun, almost like a, almost like a tongue sticking out a little bit. But let's see how it tastes like. The uh, tartar sauce is a little bit on the on a tangy side, I'd say. Kind of a relish, mayonnaise, -y. but it does have a little. Um, a little ting to it. Not bad. Overall, it's not bad. I think believe this is the first time I've tried the Carl Jr. fish sandwich. But um, yeah, this is a good start. Now we're gonna try the other ones out. Next on deck is the tried and true McDonald's filet of fish. I kind of looked it up. They've been serving this filet of fish for 62 years. That's a long time. Very familiar, soft, smooth bun. We all love smooth buns. There's your square piece. Almost like fish. I sit, almost like a hidden Mickey, babe. Yes, there's a hidden Mickey there. And it's supposed to come with a slice of cheese. Yes, there's a melted slice of cheese on this side. There it is right there. All right, a little square slice of cheese. So we're going to cut this in half. That's what it looks like. Look at that tartar sauce just glistening in the sun. Um, uh, I've had a lot of play of fishes from McDonald's so I am familiar with the taste. And this is also the uh, wild Alaskan what, uh, haddock mm -hmm. as well. Here we go. Now what I noticed right off the bat is the Carl Jr. is a little bit more crispy. This appears to be like deep fried and crispy, but it just doesn't have that crunch. And I, not that I was expecting it, but it's just an observation. The tartar sauce, the tartar sauce is really good. Uh, very familiar. They do give you a lot of it too. So if you're not a big fan of, of excess tartar sauce, I guess you could always scrape some off. The cheese, it just adds to the flavor. And the buns, I've, the McDonald's always use soft buns on filet of fish I never had a, like a hard dried out bun. I like soft buns, babe. Yes, me too. 
especially on filet of fishes <laughs> hmm? very good so the fish is alaskan pollock not haddock it's a alaskan pollock again here's the fish sandwich with the cheese and the tartar sauce Mm. a very good fish sandwich again not fishy at all but i would say that both of them are not fishy but i think the carl's jr one is a little bit more fishy but not too fishy out of the two out of the two yeah it's good again very familiar with it I like the cheese. Never think about it, but the cheese matches perfectly with this sandwich. It's good. McDonald's Alaskan Pollock. Yes. Sustainable. Mm -hmm. Exciting to try this one. This is going to be a good one. This is actually their only fish sandwich that Popeye has. It is the Cajun Flounder fish sandwich it's again it's the only type it comes it only comes cajun flounder let's pull this out it's pretty pretty good size sandwich it comes in a bag so the bag is a little bit sweaty but this thing is like humongous this is what it looks like it's the biggest of the three the biggest of the three yes look at that again nice soft bun in there see if I can lift this up. There is the tartar sauce. That fish patty is humongous. And pickles. And more tartar sauce. No cheese. No cheese. Okay. This is, look at that. That looks really good. This is the Popeye's Cajun flounder fish sandwich. Let's try this out. The fish is really big. It fits the whole bun, as you can see. It has those pickles in there and the tartar sauce. And the tartar sauce, it looks like I, even that top portion, which I thought it was tartar sauce, it looks like it's mayonnaise, a little bit darker in color. So I believe it's mayonnaise and this bottom with the pickles is the tartar sauce. This is a good fish sandwich. It's crunchy and it has a little bit of that kick to it with that Cajun seasoning. It's very meaty as well. And that tartar sauce. It's a perfect balance of the little pickle, this mayonnaise on top, just regular mayonnaise as well. This is a hearty sandwich. It's good. My turn to try the uh, Popeye's Cajun flounder. Now what's interesting, as you see the prices on the bottom, is this is 20 cents cheaper than the other two, and it's much bigger, just saying. You know, here we go. The first bite, I get a lot of spice. It's almost like having the uh, spicy chicken chicken sandwich here at Popeyes. You can see that rolls of spice. Really yes, good. it's definitely a little bit of heat to it. That little orange red is the spice, and definitely is crunchy. I didn't get too much. Uh, actually, didn't get too much fish or tartar sauce. I'm going to go for a bite in the middle. The fish is a little bit more softer than the uh, McDonald's ones. I do like the pickle. It does give a nice little uh, crunch factor to it. And of course, a little bit of the heat is always nice. The buns are soft again on this one. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a tough one. Mm. This is very good too. That was a fun fish mm. sandwich shootout. It was. It was yummy. Yeah, mm -hmm. this, this was requested by several of you guys yeah. to do a fish sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit different because everybody does chicken sandwiches, so it's a really kind of different to do a fish sandwich. Yes, yes. Yeah. Wow, so are you ready for uh, first place? First place. Three, baby. two, one. Three, two, one. You ready? Uh huh. Three, two, one. McDonald's. <laughs> I really like the Popeyes one. I like the spice in it. The fish was very good. So I that was that was my winner. I really like Popeyes too. Mm -hmm. But if I ask myself which one would I always go to? 
what would be my go-to fish sandwich? Mm -hmm. I'd have to say McDonald's. Really? Okay. I mean, it seems to be the most simple, yeah, constructed fish sandwich, mm -hmm. but it's built like that for a reason, mm -hmm. and it's it's they've been slinging it for, you know, six over sixty years, because mm -hmm. it works. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a it's a it's a winning formula. Then what's your number two? My number two is Popeyes. My number two is McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> so the that McDonald's one, it is what he says. It's it's a very familiar tasting. It's very good and it's very consistent as well. What is the winner? Because Popeyes and uh, Carl's Jr. is very similar to me. The winner was because of the cheese. I really like that that cheese and the same cheese that they stick on all of their burgers. Really good tasting. Kind of a little bit of a salty cheese that match that fish perfectly for McDonald's. For McDonald's. So, right. Yeah. That's the reason why I picked McDonald's over Carl's Jr.'s. Yeah, for third place was Carl's Jr. Yep. for me. Mm -hmm. uh, even though the beer battered fish was good, it kind of reminded me like like a Gordon's mm -hmm. fish that you put in your oven. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not knocking that one, but you know, it has its purpose. Right. And if I were in the mood for a fish sandwich, uh, I and I only had uh, Carl's, the big places, Carl's Jr.'s or McDonald's to choose from, I'd go to McDonald's. Yes, And today, here. And today's Thursday. So tomorrow, if you want to try it, McDonald's has a $2, $2 filet fish Fridays. Right. Now, mm -hmm. of course, that's not all locations. So if, if it is, it's good for you. Yeah, try and it And I out. believe uh, Carl's Jr. is having a special too. I think they are as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but out of all three, Popeye's was the cheapest. Yeah, it was. And it was good. It was actually my favorite. I don't know if it's because of the spices. Um, the spices was good. I like the fish. I like the flounder. Yeah. Um, the size is definitely shareable. It's a it's a bigger size sandwich that yeah. we're used to. I really like that one. Yeah, yeah. The Popeyes one for me was was the best one out yes. of the three. But I think Popeyes is a limited time. It is, right? but so, you yeah. know that's it's one of the new players right now it for is. the fish sandwich. So it is. Yep. we included them. We did. Now we have a few birthday shout outs yes. and other shout outs as well. Caesar's happy birthday, Rick, Cece, Tanya. Ryan and Eden, Crystal from Anchorage, all of you guys, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Jacob, Brittany, and Gino from the Improv in Brea. That's right. Yep, they is our, just our show a crack up or something, maybe. 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 Thank you so much for watching, Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. And Marge Johnson, thank you so much for watching. Yes, Marge, this is your shout out. Yep, <laughs> you got it. Well, thanks everybody for watching our fish sandwich shootout. Like always, we encourage you to try it. Yes. Try all three. Mm -hmm. Tell us which one you like in the yeah. comments below. That's true. Yep. Well, thanks again, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.